Hello and welcome back to the port. I'm the Gareth Major and this is a let's play in HMS Hood. Basically it's been a little while since we've done the HMS Hood review so I thought it's about time to do a let's play. Now I just want to see what this lion's doing on my left. So I might just straighten up and have a look at that shipping forecast. So this is a game of domination on the estuary. Tier 5 and 6 game. Fubuki and Gaidi both can stealth torpedo and the Fubuki can really hurt. Nuremberg, dead weak light cruiser. Algeria is their other cruiser, and then we have Ismail, Fuso, Queen Elizabeth, and the Shan Horse and the KG-5 working together. Okay, the lion seems to be always hoping that he'd be moving and getting out, out of the way, however it looks like I've crossed this front. Now, as always, uh, ship mods and command build will be down in the description, but you should be aware that this is a maximum speed build for HMS Hood with commander's abilities, inspirations and a battle booster flag. Uh, we're looking at 36 knots at the moment. There we are, maybe to just bounce with that. I didn't see what the cruiser is, but we've got the Fuser and the Nuremberg. I got both cruisers. Ooh. So at the moment I'm in HE and I'm going to use my speed to leg it around this flank. So it means I won't be able to chip in on the Fuso due to my limited range. But if I can work the Fuso over, it gives me a good chance to maybe get some of my British AP into their cruisers. Which also means our T61 has a very easy job of capturing the objective because no one's gonna try and stop him. Which is going to be an interesting one. So there we are, just getting up to top speed. There's just something about Hood. She looks absolutely beautiful travelling at max speed. Her only downside is that even with a Type 4 camo, her detectability is literally her maximum gun range. Just coming around the corner, seeing what we see. Fuso! Over fire. I'm going to keep galloping up here. Again, using my speed to just try and get in a position where he probably doesn't want me to be. But I always have to bear in mind that the hood has a 960 meter turning circle. That means if I change my mind, I've got a big maneuver to make so I've probably got to commit to this I'm gonna load AP if I got time 21 seconds 20 now I have got acceleration mods so I should be able to decelerate quite quickly and I will aim for the deck level oh, come on we're going to commit to it anyway. And then I'm going to clap on the speed. So now that Fusa is kind of seeing the honeypot of a position that we put him in. He's got an angle against these two. Oh, just the one battleship now. Algeria, where is it? Let's go there. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn out. And I might turn back in if he doesn't get torps to death. When he gets talked to there. So let's go do what HMS Hood was designed to do hunt cruisers. So, for those of you who don't know, HMS Hood is a battle cruiser. So, she's got a very thick armoured belt, 15 inch guns, and a very decent top speed. However, she's not. In reality, she's not subdivided greatly, so 
she takes a hit from a torpedo, large amounts of her are going to get flooded. If a magazine goes off like it did in reality, there's not a lot to stop the flash explosion from travelling through the ship and setting off other magazines or smaller magazines. And then also the deck armour is very thin, so plunging shots from any battleships really really hurt the hood. She wasn't really designed to go uno on uno against battleships. Now at the moment I'm just testing to see if 15 inch guns can overpen the bow of an Algeria. Now that looked like that hit further to the back. I'm going to let the fire burn because it's not really much of a concern at the moment. I should clear that. Algeria is now coming forward, which mostly thinks it's going to have torpedoes in the water, so I will chuck on my sonar and I will chuck on a repair party. And there you go, that's what HMS Hood was designed to do. Because of her speed, she will approach you a lot faster than you're probably going to be expecting. Which means if you don't really expect it, she can traverse the map, travel across the map, things like that, a lot quicker than you're really expecting her to do. I've done it before where an enemy flank decided they weren't going to play that flank and traveled just back to their base on the capture the base mode. And I managed to just charge Hood straight down the flank with none of them noticing and then suddenly appeared behind them and gave them a bit of a spook, is the best way to put it. And considering the Queen Elizabeth class, although she has modernised, is um, only a couple of years older than Hood, you can see that Elizabeth's a battleship and Hood's a battle cruiser. That's probably a little early, so let's see. Nuremberg does have a big sister. Well, actually, there's the perfect one. So usually when there's a cruiser broadside, I go for two and a half pips. Basically, a pip along the top is a whole pip, and then a pip pointing down is a lower hip pip, basically. And there you can see that deck armour on hood being not too good against plunging battleship fire. So I'm going to use my speed to actually try and close this engagement range. Mm, got a shatter there as well. We'll pop the heel on. I'm going to angle against the Lizzie. Hope that I don't get too many plunging shots. So that should be maximising the armoured belt. I'm going to fire forward because I'm expecting them to move forward again. And there's a Citadel. What have I got? I've got a Sean Horse coming in there. And Lizzie there. I can angle against the two of them, but only just at the moment. I really want the Nuremberg gone. If the destroyer can do it, that would be much appreciated. And I'm going to try and change my angle. My two front turrets have just been knocked out. And now I'm on fire, so I will damage con this. Trying to see where I can find an angle. Well, thankfully, it's only high explosive. Now, I was going to wait for a full volley, but I will take advantage of that. Now, I'm aiming for the deck level, just because the Shaun Horse does have turret back armor and the likes. Guidey. So you can, I've managed to now angle myself against the two, but also trying to put some distance between me and the Shan Horse. And if the Shan Horse does disappear, I'm not going to be too upset, because that means I can now change my angle. I'm also going to change my munition type. He's firing AP? Yeah. Guide is going to keep chasing me. I can live with that. I will put those two fires out as soon as possible. 
and I will get this volley of high explosive down on the Scharnhorst as soon as possible as well. I really need that Queen Elizabeth to come up here and start sharing the load here. Ooh. Hopefully, our T61 can make it. Yeah, it's nice. Right. Oh, I don't even have to try and guess where the T6 uh, GAD is. There it is. Let's see what we can make connect here. Not exactly enough. And I've got shells coming in from the Queen Elizabeth, so just getting that angle, getting the armoured belt ready. Okay, it looks like he's speeding up, but I've got to try and judge his speed. Let's go for that. Yeah. The T61 wants to push. I will push with. I just want to almost. I'm still in range of the Elizabeth. Which is what's my main concern. He must have a cunning and build on that. We'll use that last repair party. Now I'm going to turn it in and get that body out on the guidey there. I still got one sonar left. But this is the last of my health here. Yep. Need that Elizabeth. Move in and fight that Elizabeth. I want to change my gun sides. It'll be easier for me to angle against the Elizabeth and shoot the Guide if I'm heading over that way. Guide's fired torpedoes, so I haven't got to worry about torpedoes for at least a nice little bit here. Get that out now. Rear turrets aren't ready yet, so there's no point me going any broader than I need to. Rear turrets are just swinging around. T sixty one's really chunking up that guy D, doing a good job there. Rear turrets are coming around for a fact. He's gone. Switching to the Queen Lizzie, who's moved over there. Mm, no, I should be all right. I should be all right. Mm, no, I'm going to do it. There's no point in me saving it, so I'm going to put it on just in case. I was wondering whether to hold off on the sonar because. Might need it later, but then I've realised it's just the Queen Elizabeth left, and although the guide he probably hasn't got torpedoes out, you never know, so I might as well just use it. So we're ahead on points. Oh no, if we lose the QE, lose the Queen Elizabeth, we lose 60 points, they gain 40 points. That will put them up to 600 and uh, 710 that'll take us down to sorry that'll take us down to 8 700 we should still win okay it's close um uh, it's probably best we just it probably is best if we just hold off and don't do anything we win that's the smart play. I don't think the T61's realised. Crumbs. Jeez, it's heading the same way as me. It's all on you. And now I have to do something. God damn it. I've got 40 seconds to try and bring this back. And there's no way I can do it. I haven't got enough health, I haven't got enough time. Well... Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, T61. You brought it home. Oh. Yeah, you weren't that cracking. You weren't it. Oh, nice. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, second on the team. I'm happy with that. Um, T61... GG, I might even have to drop a message after this. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. That was a good game in HMS Hood. A nice little let's play, as always. Commander build and 
ship mods are down in the description. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, much appreciated. If you've got any of your own gameplays or captures that uh, you want to share, any good games, any clutch moments, any funny moments, send them in. Uh, we, our email address is under the About tab, but it's uh, battleship.dispute at gmail.com. Uh, if you're not ready, feel free to subscribe. I'm the Gav Major, and back to the port.